All right, eighth graders, uh, welcome to my class for second semester. I intended to design a Kahoot and have a little fun activity based off my class processes and then discuss stuff in person. But due to the current circumstances of my son's preschool being shut down, I am uh, at home for a few days. So I decided to put together this presentation for you and just post it on Edpuzzle. Okay. So for those of you new to my class, welcome. Um, I'm very excited to have some new students. And for those of you returning, it's great to have you back. And this will be a refresher for you. All right, I'm gonna try to make this as quick and easy as possible. All right, these are the topics that I'm gonna cover in this presentation. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm gonna do a quick short bio. All right, this is my 17th year at Cupertino Middle School. I've taught all three grade levels, six, seven, and eight, but mostly sixth and eighth. All right, I'm going to show you my family in a minute. Uh, I went to UC Berkeley, um, which is also known as Cal. I'm a huge football fan. I follow them religiously. Um, I went to San Jose State for my credential. Um, I have Kines and a political science degree. <clears throat> um, I really found physical education because I wanted a career in fitness because I was a very active endurance athlete ultra marathons, marathons, half marathons, mountain bike races, triathlons, road bike events, pretty much anything outside that went very long distances. Um, my, my passion really is cycling. Um, I try to stay very active. As you'll see, um, I'm extremely passionate about teaching. I feel blessed to have this career. And um, I'm also lucky enough to be the head cross country coach, which is in block one and track and field, which is in block five. I'll talk about it at the very end. And here is my family. I'm married to Megan and I have three kids. I have a 13 year old daughter, a 10 year old daughter and a two year old son. All right. So these are really six commitments that I want you to make to this class. And then I'll go over the commitments I'm going to make to you. All right. I want you to commit to play and work out safe while having a ton of fun. Commit to dressing in appropriate clothes, wearing a mask, bring a water bottle, and make sure you are fueled with food. Commit to being kind. Very important. Commit to having integrity. You know, playing by the rules really don't cheat. Um, commit to uh, working at or above your potential. Life is too short to sell yourself short. And the last, you're going to commit to being self-advocating. All right, you're going to ask for, you're going to ask teachers, classmates, teammates, whatever questions. You're going to seek help when you need it. Okay. My commitment, I'm going to commit to teaching physical education concept concepts to help motivate students to be active for a lifetime. I'm going to commit to making sure that I provide instruction in different ways so that all different kinds of learners can hopefully get the material. I'm going to commit to um, understanding that we have good days and bad days, but I'm still going to always try to push you to your potential. Um, I'm going to commit to staying very open in my lines of communication with you. I'm going to commit to supporting and helping you whenever I can. And I'm going to commit to staying on top of the grades as consistently as I can. All right. My, um, my number one way of giving you information is Google Classroom. Pretty much everything, almost 100% of what I post or communicate is going to be done through Google Classroom. Um, I also have a whiteboard that I bring out to class oftentimes, and I'll communicate to you with that way, but most of the work that I post is on Google Classroom. I do have sickfitpe.com as a reference for you, so you'll find calendars on there, stuff on units, so sickfitpe.com. Real quick, um, there are PE state standards, the California Department of Education adopted PE standards about 15 years ago. They have uh, K through 12, all right? And obviously I am concentrated on the sixth grade and the eighth grade standards since those are the two grade levels I teach. So a lot of the concepts that I teach you in class, some of the written work and assignments and projects that you get are going to be, um, they are going to be all standards related Material. So there is a method to all of my madness. If you were to click on this little box, it would take you to the eighth grade standards and you could look at them. 
just to let you know that in the student handbook, there are two excerpts. These are two excerpts taken directly from the student handbook that are directly related to PE. One is on PE excuses. I'm going to go over that notes and exemptions from class and PE uniforms, which I'm also going to go over as well. So make sure you're clear on those two policies in the handbook. All right. Speaking of the medical notes and exemptions, your a parent note can get you up to three consecutive days um, out of PE or modified PE. After that, you have to have medical clearance. Okay, you have to have a medical note. Um, I do not have to honor a parent note after the third day. So make sure that if you have that injury and it's still nagging you, that you get in and see a, a medical professional. All right. Um, if you miss class for whatever reason, uh, there will be opportunities to buy back assignments. Okay. So let's go here. All right. Units. Let's check this out. All right. So like I mentioned earlier, the eighth grade standards. Okay. So those are going to be a lot of the topics are going to be centered around the standards that look at fitness components, exercise intensity, which is heart rate, RPE, key muscle groups, goal setting, and much more. Your units. Um, I should have put these in bullet order, but I didn't. Um, your next unit is mind body. That's the one that we're currently going to be in, in the event center. And then after that, you will have pickleball. And then after that, you will have track and field, then you will have rugby, and then you're going to finish the year with strength training in the weight room. Okay, assessment. So you are assessed out of 100. Uh, there are five categories that I use in my class to assess your overall commitment to my class. 45% of it is participation. I'm going to go over that in a little bit more detail. 20% are assignments and projects, 15% are fitness assessments, 10% are centered around your runs and your fitness, and 10% around your workout clothes. All right, so 45% of your grade is participation, okay? The day-to-day -day stuff that you do in my class, from um, being on your or around your roll call numbers all the way to the end of class, helping pick up equipment, um, everything. And everything in between is how you get those 45, how you get that 45% of your grade in the class. Now in Synergy, you're going to notice that I add assignments every week, like week one participation, week two participation. Most weeks are out of 25 points. And the way I come up with that is you get five points per day on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. So that's 15 points. And on the block, you get 10. All right, so that's 25 points. So for example, if you were absent on a Monday or you had a note that said you can't participate on Monday, you would lose your five points for Monday. But if you did that for a block, you would lose 10 points, okay? So the way that you lose points in class, I'm gonna go over that on the next slide, but um, if it's not a behavior issue, it's because you were absent or you had a medical note. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about how you can back, uh, buy those points back. So here are ways you can lose your points. If you're not seated or around your roll call areas, standing around during activities, using mean language, being disrespectful. Obviously, if you have a note that gets you out of PE for the day, if you're caught cheating, um, if you just don't do the warm ups. obviously, if you're absent, you're going to lose the points. Okay. These are just a few examples, but I do give uh, quite a few bare bravos and bonus points as well for very good positive behavior and going above and beyond. So how do you buy back points in my class? On Google Classroom, under the topic buyback assignments, you will see options to either buy back five points or 10 points. There are a variety of options that will hopefully meet your needs. Uh, it is required that after you complete a buyback assignment, you fill out this buyback Google form. You have to fill out this Google form. That is the only way that you communicate to me that you did your buyback assignment. Okay, once you fill out that form, I receive an email. I go into the form. I see that you submitted the correct work. I give your points back. If you don't fill out the form, you won't get the points. Okay. Now, um, fitness assessments. There are only six assignments in this category in the grade book. Two one-mile runs, two two-mile runs, and two barefoot challenges. Those six assignments go under the category of fitness assessment, which is worth 15%
of your grade. And all of those are doubled, those assignments. So they are huge. So if you miss any of those, okay, let me see. Um, then the mile, two mile or barefoot can only be made up at a Wednesday morning makeup session at home. Makeups will not be accepted. Um, we do not do barefoot makeups every week. So those will be communicated on Google classroom. Run and fitness days. All right. Run and fitness days combined, uh, are 10% of your grade. Let's take a look. Uh, there's two types of runs that we really do in class. One is assessment runs. Those are the mile or two mile and everything else is called a training run. So a majority of the runs that we do in my class are training runs. However, we do, uh, we are going to do two, one mile and two, two mile runs this semester. Assessment runs are the mile and two mile training runs. We do things like the partner mile variety run, five person relay, uh, max laps, fitness runs. Um, I make up a lot of runs as we go as well. Okay. All right. Run day makeups. Um, every Wednesday morning at 9 a.m., the PE department offers makeup runs for any and all missed runs in PE. Just fill out uh, all the information on my class clipboard. You'll see a Sickler clipboard sitting on a bench out there. Whichever teacher is running the makeups will lay out the clipboards. There'll be a pencil. You need to fill it out. If you do not fill it out, then I do not know that you showed up. Okay. Um, for mile and two mile runs, um, if you miss them during class, um, after you make them up, you're going to have to go on Google Classroom and do all the assignments as well that are associated with that mile or the two mile run. That will make more sense to you as we go through the semester. Fitness days. Um, most weeks you'll have a day planned for a fitness workout. Um, we have a lot of equipment at Coop, plus we have the weight room. So there's a lot of opportunities for you to get quality fitness. And I do it to really help you design your own programs. All right. So uh, dressing out, I don't really want to go over this in too much detail. Um, you are eighth grade. You've been through this. We've been through a whole semester. So just make sure um, that you are dressing in workout clothes when you come out to class. All right. Finally, just to uh, review this real quick, we have all, we are currently in season three. So boys basketball, girls soccer is taking place. Um, boys soccer, girls basketball is coming up next. So if you're interested in those sports, you need to let Mr. Harding know and make sure you uh, are attend the tryout dates and all this and get all the stuff ready for the tryouts. And then season five, I'm the head coach for track and field, but we have a lot of cool coaches. So that's a super fun sport. That will be season five. All right. So uh, let's do this. We're going to all work together, have some fun, work hard, and most importantly, support each other. Um, we are the Sick Fit family. Uh, if you have any other questions that you don't think there's something I covered in here, which I obviously probably could have missed, just come see me or send me an email and we will work through it. All right. Um, I will be back uh, physically in person very soon and uh, let's do this.